30 Birds is the perfect title for this game because it's catchy and it's a pretty accurate description of the main premise. Help Zig find 30 birds in a city made of flying lanterns. In this colorful world, you'll befriend bizarre characters, play music on magic synthesizers, and get lost in the winding streets. So I just played the demo for 30 Birds, which you can check out down in the description, and immediately started to put together a script for this video because I loved it so much. This game is weird and funny and feels like one big magical adventure. In the game, you'll be doing favors for NPCs and finding items for them in order to gather information on the location of the 30 birds. These birds are needed in order to track down the missing goddess, Smurg, which is based on a bird goddess from Persian mythology. Our character Zig has been asked by a ghost to rescue her. Yeah, it's a little out there, but I'm sure it'll all make sense later. Of course, the main thing that stood out to me were the visuals, which are inspired by Persian art. This project actually started as an art experiment for an exhibition. The goal was to make the audience experience Persian miniature-like paintings in a different way. Rambram Games came up with the cube layout to make the miniatures connect and expand, introducing the third dimension. But I'd argue the music is equally as important in setting this very unique vibe for the game. The soundtrack is based on Jamaican and Middle Eastern music, and these music puzzles help bring even more life and color to every note. So the gameplay in this one involves exploring different floating lanterns, and you're able to travel to two of them in the demo. My favorite feature was the way you turn corners in order to visit adjacent sides of the lanterns, and how entering buildings transports you to an even tinier floating area. This gives the game a pretty cool take on perspective, and I have a feeling they'll explore this feature even more in the full game. Now, a lot of games have used some sort of cell phone feature as a way to organize quests, store contacts, and display an in-game map. 30 Birds puts its own spin on this. You can see all the birds you've befriended so far and talk with them on your gem phone chat app. It also has your inventory, a gallery, and maybe some other secret apps too. After playing the demo for just half an hour, I can tell that 30 Birds is gonna be a funny and wild ride. It's not set to release until 2024 though, so we'll have to wait a bit. In the meantime, check out some cool games that might be releasing a bit sooner.